mind keeps going back to that shooting party at Nettle Bay. Perhaps it was a premonition. I know only that it was then that, for me, killing of any kind ceased to be a sport. James Mason, in one of his last great performances, hosts the shooting party. Life is so extraordinarily pleasant for those of us who are fortunate enough to have been born in the right place. Ought it to be so pleasant? And for so few of us? Will they be out tomorrow for their purposes of massacre? Oh, I couldn't see, sir. It's nothing to me, the pastimes of the upper class here. We seem to have become money mad. There's never been so much gambling, speculating, fortune hunting. I've set my cat at Sir Reuben and his millions. What a competitive pair you are, you and your husband. Gilbert? Competitive? Something to one, pleasant. Three woodcocks, two ham, a lot. Which puts us comfortably ahead of Mr. Stevens, I fancy. I had my lord, but I don't know about comfortably. Something very odd was happening today. Somebody was actually out to beat him. I mean, your enamorata. <laughs> what do you mean? Everybody wants to beat the champion. I love you, too. This is Stephen, sir. Over on the left, your bird, sir. You don't approve of our sport, I fear. It's not my idea of sport. It's my idea of murder. These are hard times for the local people. No one seems to care very much about country murders. If the landowning class goes, everything goes. What do you say, Lion? I don't know. I think an age, perhaps even a civilization, is coming to an end. <laughs> 